In other news, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force embarks on a new approach to arrest incidents of domestic violence, suicide and child abuse. The initiative of one assistant superintendent of police led to a stakeholder consultation for Grosley and the Babano regions. An integrated approach is being taken to address domestic violence, suicide and child abuse in the northern communities of Grosely and Babano. The police division collaborated with the Ministry of Social Transformation and the Grosely Catholic Parish to hold a stakeholders consultation recently to elicit suggestions for awareness and intervention. We have seen in recent times how, how these issues have impacted society and the problems that it has created for us. More so, even suicides recently, we've had quite a few cases. And so we understand that the Royal Senate Police Force does not have the answers to all of these issues. And so it is very important for us to partner with our various agencies, the community, to come together to see how best we can address these issues. Faith-based organizations were engaged on day one of consultations and community-based organizations on day two. Child abuse presentations made by family case workers for Grosely and Babano had participants coming away with concerning information and resolve to address the societal ill. This particular um, session, I felt it was very important to attend, particularly as Growell, where we deal with a lot of young people, because these are the young ones who are most vulnerable. Some of them not just vulnerable in terms of economic vulnerability, but vulnerable as well in the sense that they have very little um, autonomy and they depend heavily on their family, etc. So this is very important for us in terms of identifying not only the symptoms um, of uh, some of the social ills that we discuss in order that we prevent them, but also to have a sense of who it is that we can reach out to there appears to be a major child abuse problem within St. Lucia. I don't want to say especially within the northern section of the island, but that's kind of how it seems from the statistics we've been shown. Uh, also, just there's a lack of communication or reporting of these child abuse problems, specifically from the children themselves. First, usually you have to go to the teachers, you have to find out what the teachers notice but then most of the teachers don't really know the signs and symptoms to look for that would tell you okay maybe this child is being abused at home. The role of educators in responding to child abuse came up during the discussions. Education officer for District 1 Grosele, Cyrus Sipal, stressed the need for a multi-agency approach. Even though the teacher may be there, the best teacher with the best pedagogical practices and you have all the um, safe environment for them at the school but if when they go home when they go to the communities then they face that level of abuse that emotional abuse physical in whatever form sexual abuse whatever it is when they come to school there is no way they will be able to function there is no way they will be at peace there is no way they will feel safe and they have been disadvantage of their education. So I want us now to be able to work in collaboration form a networking with um, human services and then um, the um, community groups, the church groups and the schools because we all have the concern to ensure that the children receive a good education. Grosley Social Transformation Officer David Moise indicates that a joint report will be prepared by the Ministry of Social Transformation and the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to be submitted to Cabinet. Through this initiative we can look at the suggestions, the recommendations that would come out of our group discussion later in the afternoon as well as what, what, what um, we got from yesterday and we can put these together and try to see how best we can assist these organizations, how best we can assist the churches um, in going out there and really you know, executing some of those uh, um, recommendations that would have been made. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting. Right, so